Okay, we're gonna start because I know it's lunch hour and I know some of you are legit on your lunch hour. And I'm getting so excited to do these every week. They're so fun. I think everybody's been bringing something totally different. I love that it's all over the Mary Kay world. So um, what I do, I do get the Zoom recording. I will post that. But if you hang tight, if you're more of a YouTuber, don't worry. We put that on YouTube. We get that out to everybody right away. Um, sometimes it takes her over the weekend, you know, if it's Thursday and it's month end. So it'll probably happen Monday. Just know that but we'll have the YouTube link to this also. Um, I just always like to share that with everybody so they know if they're like, oh, I need it. I'm like, I don't know, I like YouTube. It just makes it easier in life. So we'll post this there. However you learned about it is probably where you'll need to go find that. Um, I know a lot of people have private messaged me and that's absolutely fine. I will share that. Um, it really just is something we wanna share. One, this is perfect timing. It's right at month end and we are bringing the powerhouse today. And I love the women that are stepping up to play because here's the thing, my friends, this is truly a go-give thing. They have nothing to benefit or gain other than just their heart to give back to all of you. And so we have the beautiful Amber today. I, Amber, let me ask you, do you mind if I spotlight you? Some people that freaks them out. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. I always like to ask her because one lady's like, Jenny, take me off that. I'm like, well, just change your, you yeah, know, you your can salary. Change you can change it yourself. But you anyway, I don't ever want some people like, do not make me the spotlight speak. I'm like, okay. So I always like to get that permission first. But if you, some of you I know got to um, be in Amber Space at Career Conference and um, see some at million dollar director. But here's what I love. Her legacy is amazing. Her heart is amazing. I've had the privilege of honor of hearing you speak before Amber and just being in your space and some different leaderships and events. And I just want you to know, I've always been so impressed by you. And there is not ever, you know, sometimes there can be chatter, but there's never been one thing that's not a positive affirmation to your character mm. that I've ever heard. And I think that ladies speaks volumes, you know, around the world, all different that I've never heard anything bad. And I love, I don't know, you just excite me when I was, I'm like, yep, I want someone to bring the excitement. I want, I love watching you guys as you start hitting your in and you soaring in what you post. And I, I don't know, I just love you, my friend. I appreciate you. I appreciate you taking your time. I appreciate you leading this company the right way leading the women the right way and giving to so many women. Um, and that's what I love most is if you ever have caught her, she will stop and give you her time, her energy, no matter what. You don't have to quote unquote belong to her, right? And that's what this is about. So you guys get to hear, how many times will you do a million now? Um, well, this will be our second. We right. only we only did like 960 last year. Only. They only did 960. Uh, only did 960 yeah, the during the pandemic, but whatever. <laughs> so we're going to be cheering for you as you wrap up another million dollar year. They are the real deal. I love your people too. They're amazing. You can tell Apple doesn't fall far from the tree. And so thank you for blessing us and thank you for giving your time today. And I'm going to take over. Okay. Okay. Well, I think it's funny you say there's nothing. I'm acrylic I'm, and gel. Yeah. Uh oh. Um, Mark Jill. Yeah, people. Mark Jill. Leanne, I love acrylic. You. Yeah, yeah. What you do, Mark Jill? Hold on, I'm mute. Okay, I'm so trying to find them all mute them as fast as I can. Okay, I'm, okay, as fast I'm as on it. it. I'm like, I'm trying to get to them. They probably uh, think they're muted and don't realize they're not. Right. Uh, I was just looking for something. I think it's out by my Bible. And so I'll have to explain it to you guys because it is something that just came to my mind. Um, but um, I think it's funny to say there's nothing negative because I, one of my things <laughs> to take that I, uh, I really, really struggle with what to bring with to you guys. And my husband's like, well, you'll figure it out and God will give it to you right before. Cause even if I tried preparing it yesterday, I don't teach that way. And I would have been changed anyways. And so, um, it's all over my mirror today. So I wish I could just take you into my bathroom <laughs> because that is where this manifested today while I was getting ready. I was taking notes on my mirror and, uh, and I do have, um, a, pad of paper that's for the shower. So I have a little bit in the shower even. And, uh, because I feel like sometimes God just shows up in the shower too. Um, uh, I love you, Leanne. 
So if you can come off of your, like if you're not at work and I could see your face, I would super love for you to have your face on screen. I don't care if you have no makeup on, like there's no shame in your game. I love seeing faces though. I'm a complete, hi, Chris. Yay, hi, Jessica. See, it's way better. And you smile bigger when I can see you. So um, so today uh, I, I, I do laugh because you said you won't find anything negative. One, it's, I choose not to talk about other people. And that started when I was in seventh grade. Do anyone ever remember being in seventh grade or eighth grade where girls were so nice? Does anyone remember that middle school? Like, <laughs> I think we're all tough because they were so mean. And you might've been one of the mean ones. Who cares? We can grow out of that too. But I remember being in the stall and I heard what I thought was a friend of mine talking about me. And that feeling I got in my gut, I said right then and there, and P.S., I was raised in a Mary Kay home, so then that kind of helped, um, is I said, I never want someone to accidentally come upon my conversation and have that same very feeling. And so like, I'm legit on that side of my life. There's a lot of integrity that goes with that because I will walk away from conversations that people are having that are not lifting of other people because how many of you have ever had life happen? How many of you are walking through life right now? How many of you are for, so for marriage, but had to walk away from an abusive a marriage? That's me. I'm so for the constitution of marriage. And I walked away and lived a very um, vivid divorce through um, living in a fishbowl of Mary Kay. And so when I say that is, I think about, okay, if, if you have to have somebody be a scapegoat, then throw it at God, because I don't have time for the drama and nor do I have time to keep up with what's going on in everyone's life. And so that had little to do. But when you said that is you, one of my things today is you will get what you focus on, whatever you want, you will get whatever you focus on, you will get. And, you know, very similar stuff. Uh, I'm a huge learner. I'm a huge, huge learner, but I do love to let you know where I come from because I, I might land on some people a little bit more aggressively. Hi, Miss Christine Azevedo. I love seeing faces. So uh, is I am a DI personality. No surprise to many. I'm power and achievement. My love languages are acts of service and gifts. My Enneagram is a seven wing eight. And let's see, my strengths are woo, activator, communication, positivity, and strategic. And so a lot of what I am and do on a daily basis, I loan out to my girlfriends because they're like, I mean, what do I do next? You know, they need the activation stuff. And so I say that because nobody needs to be alike. And that is the glorious thing of this business is that you can be at the top and be the sweetest, sweetest, soft-spoken person ever, or you could be at the top and you could be the loudest, most obnoxious laugher. Like one of my girlfriends, Christy Campbell, and she won't mind that I say this, the woman is tiny. Her laugh is huge. I mean, when I say huge, like, I don't even know where it comes from. It has to come from her feet because her laugh is so big and there's no shame in her laugh game. Like she will be on an airplane and I'm trying to sleep seven, eight, 10,000 rows ahead of her. And what wakes me? Christy Campbell's laugh. But you know what? I'd rather it be a laugh than her talking about someone, right? So so again, I kind of reeled with, okay, what do I give directors and consultants in 30 minutes? And the first thing that I want to say is, and we might get to part of it, but I will be with Emerald Seminar on Monday teaching too. So I'll get to some of that more if I miss it, but um, is success leaves clues. Success leaves clues. And I say that because you have every access to success in Mary Kay. Success leaves clues. If you aren't getting a success in a certain area of your life, I guarantee you, you can find somebody who is that you can model after. How many of you can say Gloria Mayfield Banks's affirmation? I can't, but all of a sudden when she says it, I know a lot of it. Like I, it's kind of like a song. Like I couldn't sing a song without the song playing, but if Gloria starts saying her affirmation, I can say it with her because she's said it so many times, success leaves clues. And the question, a couple of questions I have for you is who are you around on a regular basis? Are they lifting your dreams? Are they lifting you or are they a downer? 
And this isn't a call for this, but the last four years have been a very difficult um, four years of my life and yet um, very powerful in other arenas, but probably the hardest four years I've ever walked through. And if any of you have kids, I have four, um, you would understand that a mom's heart is um, tethered to her kids. And when there's life in that general area, um, it's hard. And I say this because my, my physical and my mental state has been protected greatly. Because you can't watch while you're driving. I'm not watching. I need to make sure I'm on mute. I'm not watching while you're driving. Cheryl just said, started. You oh, better not be watching while you're driving. Quick? Oh, there we go. Got it. <laughs> so anyways, but I, my daughter, my oldest daughter just came out of a year and a half of treatment facilities where I was her only advocate. And I say that because you can look at million dollar sales directors and be like, oh, their life must have been cush and perfect to attain a million dollar year. No, the day after I finished a million dollar year, I escorted my daughter to her first treatments facility. So success doesn't come without the hard. It's just, you have to choose your hard. Do you want to have your hard be that you owe the bank a lot of money or that you can't afford to get your kids help? Do you want that hard? Or do you want to choose the hard of picking up the phone when you don't feel like it and doing it anyways so that you can afford the freedom and the healing that your kids need, that you need, whatever it is, there's always a hard, you just get to choose your heart. And so who are you around is big. I love seeing Ms. Becky Stanley because I love her dearly, but her energy and my energy match each other. I actually put this on today because she gave it to me and I'm like, this royal blue wasn't bright enough. And if you know me at all, I love color. And I'm like, like if they're only going to see this and you don't get to see my cute shoes, I'll show you my shoes because this is how I roll. If you don't get to see my cute shoes, like how cute is my outfit when it's just blue? And so um, I had to throw on some color and I thought, oh, I'm going to put a little bit of, I'm going to, I'm going to get a little bit of Becky on me because her energy matches my energy and we lift each other in laughter, in celebration, in everything. So who are you around? Who are you around? My second question is, what are you listening to? I know they're great shoes, aren't you? But my mom got them for me my, for Mother's Day early. Yay. Uh, so what are you listening to? Every single day. Well, actually, my dream mirror now is the one that was in the private island of Lanai um, for the extended trip in Hawaii. Uh, there was a, all of a sudden there was a remote control on the counter. And I'm just a real girl that, that is honest to say, I still am like, what the heck the toilet just opened by itself. Like that is the coolest thing ever. And it shut by itself and it lights up. What? Like those little things I videoed it even for my unit. Those things to me are exciting to think that normal people like us can see a toilet open and shut by itself. And you don't have to tell your kids to shut the toilet. Like when you have four kids, that's exciting. It's exciting to go to the pool and say, oh my gosh, I'm hot. Lauren Bloomer, Lauren Bloomer and I were sitting there talking and, and I'm like, I'm so hot. And the little pool guy, one of the mini pool guys, would you like me to spray you with fresh Evian water? I'm like, are you, wait, wait, wait. what'd you say? And he says, he told me it again. I'm like, he's like, he has these two aerosol cans. I'm not kidding you. And I said to Lauren, I said, well, I looked, I said, the only way I'll let you do this is if my girlfriend can video it because I have four kids. And the only time I get like wet by the pool, like is when they cannonball me and it's usually not wanted. And so I need video of this that I got sprayed on purpose. And it felt so amazing. And so he like laid out and did that. Okay. So that's just normal normal people celebrating life because we chose our heart differently. We chose our heart differently. And so what do you listen to? And I said, my dream mirror, this takes you back to the mirror that was in my room there. There was a remote control on the counter. I'm like, what does this go to? It wasn't the toilet amazingly enough, um, but I thought it was. <laughs> and so I'm, I'm just like, there's no TV. So I'm just like pushing buttons. I'm like, probably going to like send a spaceship to outer space or something, but pushing buttons. And then all of a sudden my mirror turned on. And I'm like, shut the front door. There's a TV in my mirror and there's like a smart mirror. And I didn't even know there could be a mirror that's smart, uh, but there is. And I, I listen to YouTube almost every day when I get ready. That's my go-to. And I subscribe to people. So it's kind of whoever is on top 
is who I'm listening to. And um, yesterday's uh, message was Stephen Furtick and it was a Sunday message. I highly recommend going and listening to that. Today I was listening to Tony Robbins, but what are you feeding your mind in those quiet times? What are you feeding your mind? Do you listen to the million dollar message? I mean, I'm a little bit of an advocate for it, but Nikki McDaniel knocked it out of the park today on being a finisher. What are you listening to? The third question is, what are you reading? What are you reading? And you can't say, well, Amber, I'm not much of a reader because I'm not going to listen to that because leaders are readers. There is an app called Audible that will read it for you. So I'm not going to listen to the excuse that I'm not a reader. Leaders are readers. And that is from the mouth of Mary Kay Ash. Leaders are readers. And there's also another Headway app too that's like an audible too. So there's other apps out there that you can find, or you can literally go to YouTube sometimes and somebody has read the book online and it's free. If you want to go budget worthy, you know, like there's a lot of different avenues of that. So leaders are readers, but I wanted to give you guys a success cycle because I literally was going to give you ways of mastering lead generation. And then God kind of reversed what I needed to say. Um, and if I get to that and to give you guys lead generation, because I honestly do believe, um, there's not many people in this business that could rival me in different ways of generating leads because I've always had to generate leads. But, and I say that because when I joined Mary Kay, well, my mom joined Mary Kay when I was three, I joined Mary Kay when I was 18. She was the number one sales director in the state of Washington when I said yes to Mary Kay. My grandmother was a Cadillac sales director, my aunt's cousin, every which way. So my contact list, my physical contact list where you tell your consultants or your director tells you, make a contact list, had two people on it, just two. And so, and from that, I built and I built from not knowing anybody. And then four years, six years ago now, we relocated from Seattle to Kansas City, Missouri. And I built from not knowing one single person. And then right before COVID, we moved, <laughs> right about ready to finish our first million dollar year to Phoenix, Arizona. And so I'm so grateful that I have the skill of generating and building leads. So if I get to that, I will. But again, I told you success leads clues. So I'm gonna give you the success cycle that I absolutely love. And you can find this because Tony Robbins talks about this all the time, but it makes sense. It makes sense. So if you're taking notes, you're going to put each of these words in a corner and a line in between them. So draw a box arms. The first one is potential. So you're going to draw, if I, if I showed you my notes right now, you wouldn't even be able to make out what they say. So I'm not going to show you. I was going to show you an example. Uh, so potential and then top left. One. And this is, doesn't matter which corner you put them in. So it's about a cycle it goes around the next, the right corner, put action. And remember, draw a line between them. And then your bottom right corner, put results and then draw a line over to your bottom left corner. And that is belief and certainty. And then connect your belief and certainty to your potential box. So you should have a square box with potential, action, results, belief and certainty. So if I were to say to you guys right now, the ones that I can see, if I were to say, if you were to give me a physical example of what somebody would look like if they were depressed, what would they look like? Show me physically what they would look like. Would they be slouched? I love Christine slouched over with a frown, shoulders down, head down, right? Where's that energy, right? So where, how would you show me if somebody was excited and passionate about their life? <laughs> Becky's like, Ooh, that was like a bend and snap, baby. I was like, bam, right there in her chair because, and I'm saying this because emotion drives motions, emotion drives motions right prior about 20 minutes prior to me going live. Something happened that I didn't expect that set me a little off kilter. And I literally went right to Emotion drives motions. And if I'm going to live my best life today, I'm going to shake like a dog and get all that funk off of me. I put on some praise and worship music and I worshiped and I got my power stance and I got right back to where I needed to be in my energy. Cause guess what? You control it. Not the person that cuts you off. Don't give your power away that easy. Men do. I always tell my husband that all the idiots come out when he's driving because um, they don't really come out when I'm driving. <laughs> They're always super nice. So anyway, so, so emotion drives motion. So 
Is there success? Is there potential success in Mary Kay? Yes. Is that a yes? Is there potential success? Yes. Okay. Does it require action? Yes. When you have action, do you get results? Yes. With results, with certainty or uncertainty, do you get it? Not necessarily. So now when I say this is a cycle of success, at any one given time, you can have a spoke off. My, my son races competitive motocross. If you follow us, you see him. One of the things they check every single time he comes in from pra for practice or from warming up for races or from a race is every single spoke because one spoke off can cause a problem. One spoke. And I'm like, I'm literally feeling, I remember one time when I was first learning this because I just act like I know what I'm doing in the pit. I was first learning this because he races two different sizes of bikes and first learning. And I'm like, why am I feeling for a loose spoke? And they explained to me what could happen if there was a loose spoke. I'm like, oh, then I'm like, mama, I'm like, I'm checking every spoke. And I don't care if you check them, I'm going to check them too, because that's my son out on that motorbike. So same thing with you, success cycle. So if you don't believe that there's potential in Mary Kay, that's the first thing. Is there potential? If there's one thing I could give you of being a daughter of a national sales director, being raised in Mary Kay since I was three years old, is that it's worth it. It is worth it. The dark times when you don't see the results, it is still worth it. When you're making phone calls and your friends are at, on the boat on the lake and you're choosing to do what you said you were going to do today, it's still worth it. When you've had, you've lost a director, you've lost a consultant, somebody was nasty to you, guess what? It's still worth it. I wish I could give that gift to every single one of you. Second, now, do you believe that you could do enough action to outweigh your certainty? If you took one man selling door to door and said, and he was going with uncertainty and he went to a thousand doors and he went up to that door and he said, you don't want to buy any of my goods, do you? How many people do you think he's going to sell? You don't want to buy any of my goods, do you? Like he might get one in a hundred because they just feel sorry for him because he needs to feed his family. But how certain is he? How's his belief? He can do a lot of action and have one of those spokes off and not get the same results. He can do a lot of action without that certainty and not get the same results as somebody doing less action. Now, results are driven by your beliefs and certainty. So to me, one of the most, most precious areas and spoke of our cycle here is belief and certainty is what is your belief that it's going to work out for you? What is your belief that when you call somebody, they're going to book with you? What is your belief that you, when you walk in to place a facial box, that they're going to let you? What is your belief that at your next appointment, they're going to give you a lot of referrals? What is your belief that the next person you talk to about the career is going to say yes? Belief and certainty drives the potential in this business to go up. Belief and certainty and high potential of a great success leads to more action. When you have more action with belief and certainty very high, do you not get better results? Yes, you do. And so when you get on this cycle and you're not getting the results you want, check the corner, check your corners. Like, Oh, where am I off? It might be that your belief and certainty is excellent, but your action is off. You need to increase your action because if you believe it's worth it, you believe that when you make your phone calls and your bookings, that you're going to get the results. You believe when you reach out to people, you're going to get the results you want, but you're not doing enough action then you're not going to get the results. So usually it's one of those four corners that are off. One of those four corners. And how do you increase your belief and certainty? This is big. And this is something that I do every morning. And if I fail to do it in the morning and I started my day, I will stop my day and do it right then. 
And I personally do my own rendition of Miracle Morning. Some people call it morning priming. It doesn't matter what it is, but I do my gratitude journal. I do my prayer. Well, my gratitude and prayer journal are together. I do my prayer time. And that's why I was looking for my visualization cards. And I literally think they're up on my Bible, but I have a little index cards of visualization cards and it's my, it's my jam. They're kind of like on a spiral like this. And four years ago, I made new ones. You get them at Walmart. And I do the neon ones because I like color. Um, you get them at Walmart. And four years ago, I wrote that I wanted to have $54,000 deposited into my checking account. Why? I don't know why it said, actually it was 50,000. And I wouldn't leave it there, like, but I just wanted to see it deposited. And that was four years ago. I was still paying off over $200,000 in attorney debt four years ago. So when I wrote that, and I spent every morning flipping those cards and visualizing some of it is like trips. I want to take family on some of it is personal. Some of it is one of them was my husband's, um, work schedule, which that has been rectified because I had the power to visualize. And I just spend a hot second as I flip through there and I visualize it, the power of visualization, because you have to see it, you have to see it. So what would success look like for you in Mary Kay to raise that certainty and belief? There is enough success in Mary Kay that there's clues everywhere, everywhere. And so it's just finding, okay, what does that success look like for me? And raising your belief and certainty that every phone call you make is worth it, that the way you're doing is worth it, that you don't have to change the way you're doing it. And it's still worth it. And so that the visualization is huge, but on that was the $50,000. And the year we finished million was 2020. Um, and I, in July, all of the, because they canceled the trip and there's more bonuses than I even knew what to do with for finishing million. Um, I was like, what's that? What come again? <laughs> You're getting a $5,000 bonus. Okay. All right. And my husband, Joe said, is there a reason why there was just $54,000 deposited into our account from Mary Kay? And my question back to him was, is there a reason why you're questioning it? Because I saw it four years prior. That's the power of visualization, but do you take the time to do it? Do you take the time to do it? And so, but focus does control, sorry, questions control your focus. So if you feel like, oh, I don't know what to focus on, ask yourself different questions. Do you know whatever you're looking for, you're going to find everywhere I go, people are drawn to me for this product or career. And God makes it so easy and obvious if it's him, I laugh out loud. Why does that come off of my lips so easy? Because it's an affirmation that I ask myself every day. You ask yourself a positive question, you get yourself positive answers. If you ask negative questions, you get negative answers. If you say, why is my butt so big? Well, ding dong, you shouldn't be eating the ding dongs and the French fries. You're going to get a negative answer. If you say, why am I so sexy hot? Well, hello, because you make healthy choices. You ask a positive question, you get a positive answer. Your brain goes to work to answer every question you ask and you start living the fruit of those questions. So what are you asking yourself about success? Everywhere I go, people are drawn to me for this product and career. And God makes it so easy and obvious that it's him. I laugh out loud. And so in that, I know I have to keep this to a half an hour. And so that's like so draining on me that I had to do this. But um, I will leave you with that is what are you looking for? What are you looking for? Because you will find, and the quote from my Mary Kay mirror, I was going to go into lead generation, but we don't have time for that. You guys are on lunch hour. Um, I have a little rotating calendar that my mom gave me years ago, and it has national sales directors and Mary Kay quotes in it. And today your quote is, is what I'm doing today, what I want to do, or is it just because it was what I was doing yesterday? And I would end you with the question that I put on the top of every single one of my days of my to-do list is what I'm doing right now, moving me closer to my goal is what I'm doing right now, moving me closer to my goal. Because if you ask the right questions, you will get the right answers. So Jennifer, I'm not going into lead generation. I'll leave you with that. Otherwise we'd be here hey. for another. Yeah, maybe. we could save it for another time. Oh my gosh. And you know what? I don't know. You know, sometimes God just puts some things 
for a certain way, for a certain day, for a certain reason. And I just really trust in that. Um, me and Rebecca, um, Alan is my, oh, she's coming is my bestie. And we always talk about that. Like sometimes we'll be, I don't know, just weirdness. And I said, it's not weirdness. It's God. It's just what's happening. And I just feel what you had. I was watching everybody as you were speaking and there's a reason you didn't need lead generation today. It was what you had to say was what was needed. I was, I was watching the comments, watching everybody's head. I'm like, you know, I love watching people. <laughs> I can see that. And there is a reason for what you share today. And so thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Does anybody, we have a couple minutes, um, have a question for Amber or um, maybe to affirm her with anything that you took away from today that you want to share? I always leave it open for a couple minutes. And then obviously I'll get you all the recording too, because it was powerful. Oh, even us great minds, sometimes we think we're doing those things, right? Saying in positivity, doing the right things. And you don't think about the, that devil can sneak in. Amber, it's Rebecca Allen. I adore you, friend. Thank you so much for that. I'm sorry I wouldn't show my face today, but I had this weird food allergy I've never had. <laughs> my lips and eyes are still swollen. Hey, you but know what? Like, people pay for that. <laughs> I know. That's a story for later. But, you know, this was divine. You are amazing. I, I love hearing you on the million dollar message every Thursday or Tuesday. And that, I mean, you're my favorite. And I feel like every meeting with you has been divine and God puts you in our paths for a reason. And you said the perfect things today that we just needed to hear. I know for Jennifer and myself, for sure you did. So, and everyone on here. So thank you for, for sharing with us. Thank you, Miss Rebecca. And I love your picture. Like, I wish I had a cool picture like that. I don't have a cool picture. <laughs> Girlfriend, it's a selfie. I took it at my dining room table. I put the black, I put that black sexy background on it, you know. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Thank you. Amber, I also want to say that um I saw you on Janice's, you know, Janice Truth's event a couple of weeks ago. And you know, I love you anyway, and you knocked my socks off even more than you normally do that that was I think 13 minutes of just absolute brilliance so thank you thank you Sandy love it that I knocked oh and I did write in the comments also that I meet with Becky Kiesick oh yeah and so um so I see your unit member Terry yeah. at least once a month Yay. oh I love that full circle that's amazing and Sandy, thank you for doing that. Cause I just, I love that go give spirit of taking people in and, you know, adoptees and all that good stuff. I think that's amazing that we all get to connect like that. Um, anybody else before we have to go, I know you all are probably have a million things for her, but I just want to make sure I didn't miss anybody. I'm scrolling through it. So the only thing I hate about zoom is everyone's faces keep moving around. I'm like, you think you got it. And then I think I got it muted and they switched to another page. I'm like, oh, you guys, technology repels me, but here I am, right? I'm making it work. I'm like, I was like, no one is more of a train wreck with technology than you are. I'm like, listen, it's fun and entertaining. That's all I can give you. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Amber, for pouring into us. I know you're busy. We're cheering you on. We'll be praying for you and your unit as you wrap up your second million. To all of you, I hope you're having a terrific Thursday, an amazing month in. We can do anything, anything in three days, right? I tell you, it's just a mindset. So thank you so much. I appreciate you all and I'll get the recording out ASAP. And again, have a beautiful day, ladies. Thank you, Jenny, for doing this. Absolutely. Always. I love you, friend. Love ya. Congrats on your gold medal. Jenny, thank you, friend. Jenny, can Let's you stay on for a minute? I've got a question for you. Yeah. Or I can text you, whichever is easier. I don't text me because I gotta go pick up one of my consultants. No go. Needs me to take her to doctor. She, her leg isn't working. She oh, no. her leg. So I'm gonna run real quick. So text me and then I'll message you while I'm driving. Perfect. Thank I you. Love your face. <laughs> Bye, girl. <laughs> okay. Bye, ladies. Bye.